Welcome to my lecture online. Here's another example of how we can have statistical deception. There's actually two things here in the graph on the right that kind of deceives people or at least doesn't give an accurate representation of what's really going on. These charts or these graphs right here could be representative of perhaps pollution levels or fire danger where it's categorized to be either low, medium or high. Notice the graph on the right. What can you tell about it being kind of deceptive. First of all, the scale of the low, medium to high is not truly representative of the scale represented by the numbers. The distance from zero to the boundary between low and medium is 0.04, where the distance from the boundary of low to medium to the boundary of medium to high is 0.16. This should be three times as long as this if you're going to represent it truly by the size of those boxes. And then you can see that the high range from 0.16 to 0.50 is very large compared to the other two boxes, but that's not indicated by the graph on the right. Secondly, the current level only points to the middle of the medium box. In other words, it either wants to point to low, medium, or high, maybe for simplification, but it kind of misrepresents the true status of either the pollution level or the fire danger. Now let's take a look at the graph on the left. First of all, we've corrected the size of the boxes to represent the true width of each of the boxes depending upon some scale that we determine the pollution levels width or some scale by which we determine the fire danger width. Secondly, we put the current level arrow exactly where it belongs on the scale. Notice 0.05 is just barely inside the medium level from the low level. It's barely bigger than the high range of the low. So if it's fire danger or it's pollution levels, we can conclude that if it's low, we don't have to worry about it. If it just passed the low into the medium, yes, there's a little bit more fire danger, a little bit more air pollution, but it's almost as good or almost as less dangerous as it was on the low category, as opposed to being in the middle of the box where you then expect a much higher fire danger or much higher pollution levels. So this gives you much more information, much more of an accurate representation of what's actually going on. Here it's deceptive in that it probably wants to prop up either the danger level for fire or the pollution level for people to be more cautious. Again, we don't need to be deceived. We can simply be polled what's actually going on and we as people can figure out based upon that what we should be doing. And so there you can see clearly a deceptive graph versus a truly accurate graph representing the real situation versus a pretended situation. And that's the difference between these two graphs.